Hi everybody, this is Sam. Um, I've been doing a couple different things with some Lenovo T420 laptops um, for, for a couple years and I've seen kind of different guides on the internet or Reddit that are sort of helpful. Um, but if you want like a hands-on video description of it, I didn't see one. Um, and so this, I'm going to make two different videos. So the one video is going to be how to get this little adapter to go from like 720p to FHD uh, 1080p on the Lenovo 420. I think it also works like on the or yeah, 420, T420, T420i, 520. Uh, I always leave links in the descriptions for what the name of it is and one of these guys is 30 pins and one of them is 40 pin and um, and then you'll need certain mile numbers of the 1080p uh, screen you're gonna put in um, so that'll be the first video, so we'll just do that first, and then the second video will be, um, flashing the BIOS, um, with one of these, I don't know what this is, 341, CH341A, blah, 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 BIOS programmer, um, and that's so you can get a, uh, Ivy Bridge. Uh, Ivy Bridge, I don't know, 39, well, 3920XM or 3940XM are the fastest uh, Ivy Bridges that you can run. So you can put those in there. Um, the motherboard will run it, just IBM didn't want to update support from Sandy Bridge to Ivy Bridge. Um, and so that involves... Uh, flash ROM and core core boot. Um, so let's just go back to the the 1080p screen. So I don't have a laptop put together, but imagine you got your laptop and um, it's either 720p. So it's like 10. What is that? I don't know how many pixels that is, 12 something or 1600 something pixels. Um, and somebody, I'll leave credit in the description, created one of these guys that takes the 40 pin signal and then it makes it work in 1080p. So you have in the 30 pin newer plug. Um, so then you can have a full HD 1080p screen, um, which isn't that hard. You just have to like change the wires and then either put it, well you wouldn't want to put it over the CPU and if you don't have a discrete graphics unit you could put it there and you probably don't want to put it over the fan, but you could kind of put it back here back here behind the screen if you don't bulge out the screen um, I don't know where else it will reach so but what happens is if you don't power off the laptop the right way and then like unplug it um, from power disconnect the battery hold down the button the power button for a little bit to discharge all the power, it blows the fuse and like the, I don't know what it is, the LVADS, the display. Um, and I have had like several of these motherboards for months that I don't know what fuse is blown and I'm thought about it and, oh, and by the way, you probably want to run this video at like one and a quarter or one and a half speed because you don't need to listen to me talk so much. Um, 
so on these motherboards the there's like resistors and capacitors um, the fuses are the ones that say like F I don't know what that says, F19 or something. Um, and I've kind of known that. I've tried to figure it out on the internet. There's a couple over here, or the bigger ones, they're easier to see. Um, and then there's, let me see, one. Get my little screwdriver pointed out. One back here. And it's this guy. So that fuse I found is the culprit that blows when you don't power off the laptop right and then you hook this up or disconnect it. I think it blows either way, like disconnect it, connect it. Um, so I don't know if just the fuse blows or this breaks. I don't have any broken of these and I don't feel like trying right now, but this one works. And so I'm just going to show you what fuse I soldered and then I'll show you what it looks like on the 1080p and then you can still go back to the 720p. Um, so I'll flip this motherboard over. You can see my fancy heatsink. Um, You can see my soldering job. So I showed you where that fuse was before. And then now it's right there. So what I did is the fuse is still in place. I just um, got a glob of solder to stick to both ends of the fuse and then just make a connection so there's no fuse so I don't know what the danger of that is and then of course also the danger of losing other SMD components but the fun thing about these computers these T420 uh, motherboards and stuff like the computer you can get I mean I don't know I bought them for 40 or 50 dollars on eBay and Cause like who like a school has a whole bunch of these laptops they're not gonna pay 150 dollars to upgrade the processor or whatever and flash the bios or pay 40 dollars and or 90 dollars and change the screen to fhd they're just gonna sell them and then the motherboards if you blow a motherboard they're like 17 dollars um so it's a pretty fun way to just experiment and stuff um so this one i showed you the, the fuse i soldered so then we'll just turn it on and I think we'll start at um, 10 AP. So hopefully this is fine. Okay, so there's the green light. You can see it's on. Um, and this screen I've never used. There we go. Woo! So, yep. I know, and you can see that one's running core boot. Um, and there's no hard drive, so. And there's the processor 3920XM. All right, so I'm just turn that off. We'll unplug Power Guy, and then we'll hold the power button for I don't know 30 seconds. So I'm impatient. So then I'll put the camera down for. I'll just hold the camera. So then we'll disconnect this guy and then another thing like there's like sometimes this little bar that little bar right there like don't just rip it out unhook that little bar okay so this is our that one and then this just unclips here and this is our Chinese knockoff 1080p circuit board so then this is the Lenovo monitor um, screen so it has the wider 40 pin plug and then we just hook this guy up in the same 
place. Der. Oops, be backwards. Okay. So now there's no Chinese converter board, and we're just gonna hook the power up and make sure it still works. Uh, green lights on. Screen. Boom. So there's 720 feet. Uh, another thing, the v, if you blow the, the fuse on the display, um, the VGA still works over on the side. And I imagine the display port works still. So, you, I mean, if you don't want to, like, take apart your motherboard and solder it, um, you can still do VGA out or the display port out. Um... I think that's it. So I'll leave a link in the description for all of this. Thank you.